Hi, my name is Carla and I'm one of the founders of Rain Flying Dress. Today, I would like to share with you one of the questions we get asked most when we tell people that we are a flying dress company. The first thing they ask us is, what is a flying dress? So stay tuned to find out what is a flying dress. We look forward to sharing with you so we can get, away, get rid of the misconception of what a flying dress is. If you like this video, please be, sh be sure to like and follow so we can provide more videos to you about fly a flying dress. Well, as I said before, one of the main questions we get is, what is a flying dress? Well, a flying dress is not what Lady Gaga had on. Okay, Lady Gaga did have on a flying dress. She actually got in this uh, dress and the way it was designed, it was set up so that it could actually fly. And it was the official dress that could actually fly. But we know Lady, Lady Gaga is doing her own thing in her own way. And we are not talking about that type of flying dress. We're talking about a different type of flying dress. It's a type of dress that is worn across the world in various places. One of the first places that I know that it happened was in uh, Santorini, Greece. And there you will find that people take these gorgeous photos with these magnificent backgrounds. And here is a design that our company has. It is one of the designs that we have for rent and it is a unique design because of the way it is. If you look at this uh, beautiful dress, it's a satin dress and you notice that it has the scraps going across cross well actually it appears as if it's one strap but it's actually two straps this dress can be styled in various ways and if you choose a dress in this style you can manipulate it and take photos in different ways because of how it can be styled so as i said this is one way to style it and the reason you can style it in different ways is because of the long straps that you have right here and when you see these dresses they usually um one size fit in most so it'll come in like a small medium large and maybe an extra large could wear this dress style because of how it is made um you notice that this long tie is here now you might consider that uh, when you have this dress you don't want to tie this in the front because when you tie it in the front and they throw this long, gorgeous train that is with this dress, this will appear, appear in the dress and it might look um, make your pictures look very unique and different. So um, it would be like a gadget in the way and it shouldn't be there. So to not take away from your beauty, I would strongly suggest that you tie these dresses in the back. Right? And then you can tie them in different ways. If you look at this one, I'm going to show you how I have it tied in the back. I'm going to turn her around. So it's a one shoulder going across the strap in the back. And you usually just tie it here. This would be tire, tighter, but because I'm pulling on it, it's uh, looking a little loose right here. And as you notice, this here right here is another. This is why it's one size can fit various sizes because of the way this is here. So this is what you do. You tie this piece here and make sure after you tie this piece, that you tie when you tie it tight fitting your waistline that you take it and you take this piece and you stuff it down in the back because when you take your photos you don't want this to be a distraction in your photos because you already have this one big bow that's going to be back here so you don't want to have this other bow here in the way so then you're going to tie it and i usually just make a, a simple bow tie here And then you could um, you could adjust it so it's more even here, and make it look the way you choose to make it look. Okay. And most of the pictures you'll remember that they're taken from the front. All right. And again, when we look here, this is one way we can tie this dress. Right. And this gives the appearance of one strap. Now, as I take this a loose. You'll notice that it is two straps. The two straps on this dress allow you to wear it in different ways. You can wear it the two straps across the shoulder like this. 
in the bigger way, all right? So it's a little bit wider. If you don't want to have your shoulders out, you can wear it where it's covering your shoulders more. The choice is yours because this dress design is made this unique way for it to be worn in different styles. Now, you may notice that a lot of people take pictures in this style like this. Okay, they just twist these here. Okay, and it looks like something like this. And then it's twisted more here. And I'm twisting it more because I want to show you a different way people tie it this style in the back. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to twist it even more down to the end. One person holding it is a little bit trying, but I'm getting it done. Right? And then they tie it across the front, go across the front. And I want to try this time when I go around, I'm going to make the straps a little wider. Child, she just rocking back and forth because I'm just pulling on the poor babe. And you can make it wider across the front. The choice is yours. Now, I'm going to show you the back of this design. Again, I'm just tying it in the back. Right? You can put a bow here. And now, if you look how this is designed in the back, you can wear it like a crisscross in the back. You can also change it up. And you can wear it like this in the back. This is why this dress is uh, probably a lot of people like it. Because of how you can change it up. And you can just braid it as one braid. And then do the same thing in the front and strap it up. Okay. Take it. So this way is like one braid in the back and I would twist this more so that they match. And this way, when you take pictures with the train, um, let me show you how you would hold this dress. Let me get this around here, tie it up right quick. And I can actually wrap it around again, All right? And then tie it here. Okay, so with this dress, designed like this um this is one unique way you can have it and wear it with it like this now the beauty of this is when you have this long gorgeous train and it's in the back people will have it like this in the back and then they'll hold it from the sides and then they'll run with the dress and flapping it up and down. And that way you can see all of these unique details of the dress here in the back. I know, child, I need to take a bow tying class. But we'll get better in that. All right? So that's one way in which you can tie it. Now, we'll go back to the front. And as I said, oh, this long train. This train is about five feet long. As you can see, it's really, really long. Um... Another way you can tie it, get her back around here to the front. Another way is to take these. She's probably like, girl, you twisting and turning me today. Yes, baby, I'm so sorry. I got you all out on TV with your breasts is out. All right. Another way you can do it is you can crisscross it in the front. So you would take it and put it here. Take this one. Put it here. And then you can crisscross it in the front. So the design is up to you. Now, you can have it this way. Pull it a little bit closer. Pull it a little bit tighter. You want to make sure that it's not loose in the front. All right. And now I want to share with you. Um, and then you can even crisscross it here in the back. And I'm going to show you this look in the back as well. Let me come back around a couple of times. And then I'm going to tie it. So if you crisscross it in the back, look here, crisscross it in the back. You can do a wide band or you can make it a skinny band. The choice is yours on how you want to crisscross it in the back. But the most important thing I want you to notice is this. I'm going to tie it right quick right here. Is that if you went, went this dress in this design, please know that you cannot wear a strapless 
bra. Why can't you wear a strapless bra? Because your bra would be seen. And you want don't want to, unless you have, you know, I would so strongly suggest for women who have larger breasts uh, to use some type of support other than a strapless uh, bra. Because you don't want it to be in the your photos when they take your photos from the back. All right. Um, I, I would also suggest that you consider what type of how you would like to wear it. So if you do have some form of support, make sure that whatever design choice you use, it will not be showing. Your brush would not be strong, be showing. I'm your friend and I'm going to tell you the truth. It don't look pretty. It don't. I have a friend, she said, there's no reason or no excuse for you to be wearing a, your bra straps or your bra to be showing. So I strongly suggest you try uh, different ways, looking, considering how you want to design this style of dress and uh, re, uh, consider what support you're going to need for it. Now, some people, they like to wear Spanx up under their flying dress. That's okay if you want to. But remember that this dress comes with a split. The split is about 10 inches uh, from uh, the waistline. So if you're going to wear some kind of support, I would not wear the kind that are shorts. I would strongly consider wearing something that's just mainly for the, the uh, body section here, the mid section right here, so that it can give you some type of support if that's what you choose to wear. Uh, because remember, this dress right here has this high split. Actually, this design has two splits in it right and so usually what a person would do when they're wearing this dress is that they will put their leg out in the dress where the split is and it accentuates their body when they're posing now i wanted to do another one on this posing thing but we're going to talk about that later on because most of us we pose like this or we pose like this our hand is always on our hip but when you're wearing these glamorous dresses i would consider looking at other poses that people have done and then Look at the ones that you would want to recreate in your photos. You don't have to have your hands on your hip. Get creative, be inventive, and be yourself most of all, and enjoy your photo shoot in a flying dress. Now, I want to share with you one more thing about the long train. This long train is long when you're carrying it. You see how long it is. Now, I've seen people have the train, and they're just carrying the train like this. This is a no-no. When you're carrying a train and you're holding it all balled up, it's only going to wrinkle your dress. And that's one more thing you would have to have edited out of your photos. We suggest that you carry the train, you drape it over your arm. So the train is basically draped over your arm. And I'm trying to do this backwards. So it would be basically draped over your arm and you will carry it in this fashion, being very cautious of the fact that you don't want it to drag on the ground because when you drag it on the ground, it's going to pick up all kinds of particles, all right? Another suggestion I would like to give to you is if you're going to do a shoot, make sure you consider uh, if you're going to do it early in the morning, if there's going to be, um, you know, mist in the air or some kind of uh, uh, water on the ground during that time, if they have the water sprinklers on during that time of morning. So you have to be very cautious of where you're going to do the shoot and be aware of how uh, the environment where you're going to take the shoot is, uh, where you're going to take the shoot at, how they uh, will impact your photos. For instance, is there a lot of shade during a specific time of the day? Uh, or do I want to take the photos at the beach? And the one reason why I say about taking photos at the beach is when you go to the beach, you have to consider the wind. And if you someone is throwing the dress and the wind is just going to flap it right back down. So you have to be very cautious of the fact that you're going to need someone very strong to help you throw the dress. Uh, and I think that's all I have to share with you about a flying dress. If you have any questions, please put them below. We look forward to sharing with you more videos about a flying dress. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at rainflyingdress.com. You can also go and register for our wait list at, at rainflyingdress.com. Or you can just follow us on Instagram at rainflyingdress or all social media platforms. Okay, not all of them because we can't do all of them. But we can do a few of them. So look at TikTok, look at Instagram, and you can look at Twitter. We're there as well as on LinkedIn. Thank you so much for sharing this time with us. And we look forward to spending more time with you. 
and answering your questions about a flying dress.